Hello and welcome everybody to another video. This is always like your host, Ray Animations, or if you guys want to call me, just call me as something else, just call me Ray. And this video is obviously a 15 minute sketch, as you can see by the 15 minute timer that has been set up on Google. I will be starting uh, like really quickly. This is going to be a really fast video. It's gotta be hands. I tried doing landscaping that didn't uh, no land uh, landscape uh, piece didn't want to work out. Uh, I tried doing a post, it just didn't want to work out. I don't know. Uh, so this time around, I'm gonna try doing a hand and a post. Uh, I have a post already in mind, so that's gonna get me started. This time, I will not be turning it into a One Punch Man character. So if you guys wanted to, uh, I, see me add clothes to that One Punch Man character, I will be adding clothes and refining it another time. I didn't get a comment on it, but I feel like I should, only to justify his, uh, Saitama. No. Uh, okay. Well, let's get started with the 15 minute sketch. Uh, timer st uh, started, let's see, did it start? Yep, started. And I got everything set up here. I'm gonna make it really dark. It's gonna be my sketching brush, like usual. Let's let's get started. A uh, couple of hands, maybe like three hand pulses. Let's see. Uh, let's have a hand kind of going down and in, like towards the camera. Based upon uh, the fact that. It kind of gets divided here. Uh, let's say that this hand, the thumb, is gonna be over here. So it's gonna be kind of like that, that, and that. Maybe uh, it won't end right there exactly. It'll kind of go a little bit further, and then end right there. Maybe back up. Uh, as we're staring at, at it from this angle, oh, I mean, like if that's the back or something like that, that'll be the thumb right there. And then this will get divided into four, one, two, three, and then four. And that this where uh, this where the fingers are gonna be. Let's say that uh, it goes, it gets divided kind of like that. So let, let's get rid of this lines right here. We don't really need them, they're just gonna kind of distract at this point. Uh, let's also raise a little bit here and then make sure to find this area right here because this is where the hand gets connected to everything. Something like that. Maybe knuckles. And I feel like this finger, uh, the thumb, I mean. Needs to be more up in this sort of way. Yeah, and then let's have this finger kind of do this and kind of tilt a little. Uh, kind of like that. And then this one is going to be right here, one joint. Two joints, three joints. Maybe this one's gonna be more down actually. So have it like that, kind of like that, and then the same thing here. Just like that, I, I just keep this area like that, that, and. Just go along with it, essentially. Kind of like the way that this kind of looks right here. Uh, maybe I'll shade this area right here. And then add the finger right there. This finger does not look good. Just being very honest with myself here. And maybe this one will be a little bit further, further down also. And I'm just gonna block out some of the shapes. I'm letting it kind of like take shape 
and just like that, I already have a thing form the hand doing some sort of bird pose. Maybe it, maybe this would be the pose that you would do, like if uh, if someone was holding a gun or something like that, or some sort of weapon. Uh, let's see. So let's say that this person is pressing on the trigger. Just, uh, that finger would not be very visible. It will be kind of like this, essentially. Uh, maybe more tilted to the, this spot right here. Yeah, it's all about refining it at the end. Okay. That's one hand down. Let's do another one really quickly. I'm not sure how much time we got left. Uh, let's have this one kind of be downwards. Kind of like twist. Kind of like if this was the part that connects to the hand, the arm portion of it. This would be that portion right there. And Maybe I'll have the face uh, kind of close to him. Come around. And that and then that. Kind of like how Tar's hand uh, holds his hand. Yeah, his arm. Really quickly. Bam. And obviously, this would be the area. Where it touches the ground, but that's really, really rough uh, kind of idea of everything. Okay, uh, that would be one finger, uh, one finger right there. So say like this, just this sort of thing, and then I guess cut off somewhere here, and somewhere here, and. Got the horn turned down, knuckles, and the lines. Uh, let's see, fix up some of this area right here. Kind of that is where it connects to. And then the thumb would be, let's say, I'll have the thumb kind of like that. It will do a definitely weird pose. Thumb right there. Kind of like that. Kind of like if, if it was doing this sort of thing. The perspective will probably be up here, more like. Okay, next pose. Let's, let's focus. Uh, we're quickly drawing hands so then we don't get caught up on the detail and everything like that. Uh, let's do a very simple pose. This is going to be kind of like if it was laying flat and everything. Uh, this is going to be a very simple uh, hand that you're more than likely going to be drawing. Of times, uh, do it with this uh, sort of angle, so right like that and that. I'll uh, have the thumb be in this side. And it's gonna be connected kind of like that. And something like that. What's gonna be where it can the hand kind of ends? Is the overall shape? Oh, that thumb looks weird. Let's focus on the over, uh, the general shape of the hand. It's gotta be, you know, like if you block it out, it'll be kind of like that. So let's quickly block it out so then we actually get the right that thing. Four, cut it in four. Okay, yeah, 
that's been divided by four already. And this one will be kind of like that, that, and then that also. And then this one also the same thing. All right, this uh, this one will be kind of like straight, so it won't be very visible. Uh, let's not have this finger be so uh, so big. This finger is going to be flat. We're essentially blocking it out. Uh, kind of looks like the thumb should be over here, actually. So let's do that. Let's have the thumb be in this side instead. So, kind of like that, and then block it out of shape. If we erase all of this area right here, and then this right here, like that, and that, we got a whole entire hand. Maybe yeah, and then something like this. Maybe the line goes like that. Breaking it up pieces. And obviously, no, no line right there. Probably uh, a mouse, probably something like that. I can't divide the fingers from the whole entire uh, palm. And then this portion is going to get bigger too. Not too big, probably just a point. And then gonna be kind of a uh, um, resting hand, so it's gonna be something like that. If you ever wanted to have a thumb uh, thing looks like that, you can round it about a two. You don't have to, but you can. You can always make anything the sharp rounder, but you cannot make uh, rounded things sharper easily. It's weird. I mean, you probably can, but it's just, for, in my personal experience, it's kind of hard. Uh, let's, let's, let's shade all this area right here. Boom. Can't really quickly shade this area too. And shade this area right here. Uh, we we already established three hands already. I'm not sure if the timer has gone out. I will put my headset on. Let me see how much time we got. Like two minutes. Do you think we can pull, uh, pull one off? Maybe we'll make a feet in this one. A foot. So this portion of it. That this would be the heel heel. I mean. Would be where the bone uh, thing is at. That's where it'll connect. This would be where finger uh, toes are at. There, that's one toe. Big toe. Uh, I remember seeing this tutorial where they were doing finger uh, toes, and then what they said is make steps or something like that. Make it into steps or something like that. I forget how it was. If you make it into steps, I forget what's it, uh, which shape, uh, which way that the uh, steps went. I think it was probably something like that. Uh, it makes it gives off the illusion that it's real. And then that and that connect it, connect that, connect that. Gotta go in. Maybe 
this. Got foot and three hands right there. Really basic sketches. So far, we don't got a an alarm sounding yet. Maybe I'll make another quick hand. Uh, this one will be a quick shape. really quickly and I'm trying to block it out as fast as possible There, that's the timer. Okay, let's go to the timer. So you can see it is zero. That's okay. At least for you guys, you guys don't hear it out there, but I do hear it here. So, timer has been put. I'm gonna shade this area real quickly. And there. And probably some of it. That actually makes it look weird. I'm just gonna leave it like that. See, and then you can always refine the drawing if you wanted to. And it, but just to get rough hands across, you know, you can do this sort of thing. And this technique that I did and for drawing rough hands. Uh, I always like doing this. It's weird because, like, whenever I draw, uh, personally for me, whenever I draw a character, this sort of things, this little things like the hands and the feet, it's always like the trickiest thing to do because you gotta just get in the right perspective and and the right everything. But after you get everything done and out of the way, you, you can do really cool drawings. Like yeah, you already can tell uh, how I broke down my foot. You saw me draw it from scratch. Uh, this little oval thing right here. This is to uh, get the idea of where the foot is gonna be. And afterwards, like at least a uh, uh, like twenty five percent away, that's where you start off the tip right here, and it'll just be like this rounded area. Oops. Like let's let's say I turn down the opacity, and then I add it. Uh, let's say that this will be where it kind of ends. That's uh, that's where you have your foot, but you want it to start somewhere like here, right? So what you do is you would do this sort of shape right here. Depending on what, uh, what angle, you gotta make sure that you ha uh, you know where your uh, ankle is, and then afterwards, uh, after you get everything established like that, and this shape across, uh, it's gonna be like if you're doing this sort of shape, uh, attaching this thing to it, and you can even uh, look at it in your own foot uh, if you wanted to. Let's see. Oh, that feels a lot better. I think I probably need to get like a new nib right now. But anyways, yeah. so yeah, you you're just gonna be pretty much getting this overall shape. Let's say that this is like a teardrop back here, attached to the back, or like uh, a little bit above a teardrop that gets attached to that. And then right here, it's just gonna be a really quick box it goes slightly down towards uh, and then it gets connected to that but it's like slightly bigger so then it kind of does like this curve with, uh, with the feet uh, with the foot so then you got this and then right here like I told you the little steps uh, going up down a little and then uh, outwards and step down and then outwards. And then you just keep going with the perspective. And then afterwards, after you get enough, uh, where 
I feel like that's all the uh, tells and everything like that. You know, uh, make sure that you get the right perspective on them and stuff. And then you just close it up. And then, you know, this would be where the uh, nails would be at. Because uh, okay. this toe is kind of bigger. And then this, or that portion of it. It's not it's not that hard when you get your hand uh, a handle on it uh, or a hand on it even though it's a foot. Uh, and let's see, we got exactly five. This foot looks per uh, decently fine. It doesn't look perfect, so it, it probably just need to get like brought up a little bit more instead. Uh, because of that, because uh, of the perspective and everything, but. I think it looks fine. Because uh, it's like a rough sketch. Anyways, uh, this video has gone past its usual time, like usual. Uh, and it has gone to 20 minutes. Uh, now, this is this is just a rough idea so you guys can tell what you can get done in 15 minutes. Always try to attempt drawing something that you're used to or not used to drawing on a day to day basis. And try doing it in 15 minutes. Uh, that's my advice for you. Okay. And if it's something like landscapes, do not attempt it in 15 minutes. They just won't come out that pretty. I've seen plenty of uh, YouTube videos out there where they would do a really cool landscape, but they're usually time lapsed. Uh, so don't do it in 15 minutes because that's obviously going to take you. Uh, landscapes tend to take long. But, <laughs> despite that, just letting you guys know, a little heads up for it if you do watch this video. My next one will be a landscape, but it will be done with the sketch brush. With my sketching brush. So, I will be testing my skills to see how much of a cool landscape I could do. What sort of uh, things I could pull off with just the sketch brush. Obviously, you can see... With the sketch brush, I was able to fill up most of this canvas uh, with different lines, different things, different perspectives. So hopefully I can get some sort of landscape. Maybe I'll take a picture and I'll have it right next to me. So then it'll be something that you guys haven't seen, but if you live near me, then you will see, uh, have probably seen it. Or maybe I'll just grab something from online and then draw that. Anyways, thank you all for join uh, joining me for this wonderful video of uh, drawing hands and yeah, and one foot and stuff uh, and everything and press like subscribe uh, if you want to of course not forcing uh, like subscribe and ring the notification bell to keep up to date with this content I do do a video <laughs> I do a video every single day or I try to do a video every single day I don't always make it on time but I do my best to come out with uh, some sort of content for you guys it's not always gonna be the same t uh, at the same time uh, time because sometimes I just don't like the drawing I did and then redo it and then redo it and then redo it and then go with the best one, uh, video that comes out with it anyways that's it uh, for today thank you all for joining me and have a good one Peace out. Bye.